Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about set in Java uh, Set is a part of collection Previously I covered one more video in collection which was array list and list in Java So this is again uh, like part of collection and it is very important when you talk about uh, Selenium and in Selenium we are going to use set in some of the places So let's see how we can use this set in Selenium so we'll start with what is set and uh, what are the different kind of classes available for set so we have link list sorry link set has set and tree set we'll also see how to write set uh, so ultimately set is an interface so we'll see how we can write programs for set how to get the values from set and uh, some operations which we will perform in the last video also we uh, performed some basic operations on list same operations will perform on set as well then this is most interesting part uh, we will see how we can convert set into list so if you want to use indexes or in a similar approach where we have used list you can also do after conversion so we'll see how to convert set into list and where exactly we can use the set concept in selectium so if you have not visited my first video which was uh, list in java array list in java which was this what is array list in java so i would highly recommend to visit this video because you will get to know what exactly collection is what is generics some important topics which you have discussed in this video once you're done with this array list video then you can come back to this video and resume your session so what is set so set is an interface which is part of collection so it will extend the collection interface so whatever collection interface methods we have you will get the same method in set as well okay plus set also have its own methods that we will see in a few minutes the main difference between set and list is set does not allow duplicate values if you have seen my previous video we have inserted a couple of values and we notice that values are coming as duplicates but in terms of set this is not the case set does not allow duplicate value which is like the major difference between list and set and set is unordered collection it means if you insert values it will not uh, keep the values in ordered manner okay but we have different ways if in case if you want to uh, maintain the order then we have different classes but by default set will not uh, store the value in ordered manner so set also have a couple of methods okay but before jumping into methods let's see the hierarchy and uh, this is just like one additional point since it is not in ordered manner so you cannot access using index so this is a specific diagram for set only so collection is a base interface so set extend this collection interface so whatever methods we have in collection same methods you will find in set set also has its own method now we have three different classes which implement this set interface so we have has set then we have linked has set and then we have tree set so these three classes will implement the set uh, methods and we need to see how we can use them in selenium we don't have to create our own classes like hash set linked hash set and tree set we will get the set uh, ready and we can start using the set values okay but to get this knowledge to get how the set works we'll write our own program how to work with this hash set linked hash set tree set once we're comfortable then we'll see how to iterate the set okay so don't worry we'll not create any hash set linked hash set tree set in selenium but we will get the cell set values and we have to iterate and we have to use but for this uh, concept we will create our own programs and we'll see how these classes works so these are the method of set interface so add clear contain is empty iterator remove and size and all these methods are self explanatory so simply they will perform operation on the collections or the I will say the values which we will provide we already use iterator in our last video we also use add 
size so all these metrics are same the difference which is uh, unique is set will not allow duplicate values so let's talk about the three different classes which implement the set interface and if you don't understand what do I mean by extend implement then you should visit my previous videos in which I have discussed inheritance in Java and interface in Java so hash set is a separate class which will store the element using hashing okay so hashing is a different technique through which uh, Java store the values so hashing is little bit faster when we talk about indexing so indexing is slow hashing is uh, fast so if you don't know what is hashing I would recommend just google it a little bit about hash techniques because we have so many different hashing techniques which internally Java use to store the values so always hashing is faster than indexing hash set since it is extending or I will say implementing the set interface so it will also not allow the duplicate values now all the three classes which we'll discuss they do not have much difference if you see linked hash set uh, it is similar to hash set but it will maintain the insertion order okay i will write a small program and you will notice when i will create hash set it will not maintain the insertion order every time it will give you the values in random order but when you you will get the insertion order you will get to know in few minutes and the last one is tree set tree set maintains the ascending order okay so if you are given value say 15 31 99 and so on so it will maintain the ascending order so minor difference between these three classes so we will one by one so i will start my eclipse this is my eclipse i will create a separate package for this example and let me give set examples i will create a separate class called set demo one i will take public static void main okay so let me start with has has set uh so you can see here it is asking me give me the generics so i will directly start with generics so let me create uh one hash set of string type and let me give the name as values equal to new hash set okay now i can start adding the value so let me add some values so first of all i will add selenium i'm adding only string type values dot add qtp values dot add let's say vinium and two more values so that at least we will find out some differences I'm adding one as string because I'm giving double quote and ABC so you can see I have given the values in different order right so I have added selenium qtp vinium now when I give sys out values and you will notice it will print the value but the order will be different this is if you pass the direct object it will print all the values so if you right click run as java application you can see it is giving me the values in different order it is not giving as per the order which i have given since the name qtp but it is giving first one then abc then vinium and so on because internally java stores in, in a different set so which is not uh, internally if you ask me it works on the hashing so it is stored in different places so which one is the faster it will give that value so if you're interested in hashing you will find number of techniques for hashing as of now let me add one more value and this time let me give one more value and if i run this program again you will see the difference even though I added at mid but it is showing at last because it is giving at random places at random order so now if you want to print them this is one way like if you want to print all the values in one shot but if I need the third value so if I say dot 
in list we used to get this option right get 0 get 1 so we used to get the value at the different indexes since we do not have index here you will not get that method here so how to uh, get that value so you can use iterator you can use enhance for loop which I did uh, same for list as well so if I want values uh, so first of all I will create enhance for loop of string and I will pass values here so from this set each time it will take one value it will assign into E and I will print here so you will see it will print in this order right so you do not have a specific method to get from the specific index but yes we have a trick through which you can convert the set into list and use the index to get the values that we will see but let me create three different programs to show you the difference between list sorry hash set linked hash set and tree set so this is just a very basic program where we are adding the values and getting the values and this is as we know this is a uh, concept of interface if I give child class here and parent class here we can access all the method of parent class so since add method is a method of set interface so it is not giving any error here right? and uh, let me check what else we have here so you will see we have all these method you can remove you can convert into array and uh, you can also remove, check whether it's empty or not and so on which is not required as of now okay, so I'm assume, uh, assuming that has set is clear let me create one more program for linked has set so I will give linked hash set and same I will give here All these are coming from java.util okay so java.util have all this collection framework so all the collection set list will come from java.util now you will notice since I have converted this into linked has set it will give you in a insertion order okay so if I right click run my program you will get selenium qtp venium one more case ABC because it is maintaining the insertion order which was not the case with hash set if I add one more value at fourth place which is XYZ and you will notice it will give me at the exact same same thing will work for tree set tree set will maintain the uh, order like uh, ascending order descending by default it will be uh, ascending order in case if you want to do in descending order that is also fine now the important part how we can convert set into list then is more you just have to create one list of your type and you can pass the set. okay so if I go to the program one I'm assuming this is your list sorry set if I create my own list let's say array list of string type I will say list equal to new array list if I just pass the values here so I'm passing the set object so set object was values so what it will do it will convert my set into a list now I will get that liberty to get the values using index so if I say uh, list dot get of 3 so it will return me the fourth value okay since it is in uh, coming at random order so whatever value is coming at fourth place it is returning me so if you want to check you can also first print the set values here 
So you can see when I print the set values, it is the values when I say get 3, I am getting selenium. Okay, let me add 4. We will see what is the value at 4th position. So when I say 4, it means 5th position, so it is giving me QTP. Okay, and if you want to check in debug mode, let's uh, add one debug mode at line number 24. Right click your program debug as Java application. So you can see here right now we have set interface and these are the five values which is right now. If I add one more, so I will have these values. Now when I print, it will print all the values here. And now when I run this code, it converted the complete value into a list. And now you can see we are getting the values in list order. So if you expand this, we have this indexes now, 0 to 5. Now when I print 4, it will give me the uh, same value. So let's run again and QTP. So why I covered this topic like how to convert set into list because this will help you to iterate number of so now the last point where we can use this concept in Selenium. So now if you go back to one of my posts, how to handle multiple windows in Selenium web driver. So in Selenium we have a method called get window handles, which internally returns you set of string. So when we get set of string, it means if I have if I have five windows open, it will return me five different values. So if I have to iterate on third window. If I convert into list then easily I can go to the third window, fourth window or first window. If you don't want to go in that way, you can simply iterate it or you can use enhance for loop to get the number of windows we have. I will cover again uh, how to use this set with selenium in a separate video. But this concept will help you to iterate through indexes. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I have covered almost everything. So the main difference will be like list allow duplicate, set does not allow duplicate. List is uh, list also maintains the uh, ordered or in other words list is ordered collection, set is unordered collection. And uh, list works on indexing. So when you have a lengthy list, so when you iterate values, your performance will be slow because it has to traverse through indexes. But when you talk about set, it works on hashing, so it is a little bit fast. So in the next video, we'll see how to use this set in Selenium and you will enjoy that session because I will show you how you can switch to the Spectre tab using this indexes as well. Okay. So that's all I have for this video. If you like this video, kindly share with your friends, like, share, subscribe and support. And if you have any other question related to Java or Selenium, you can drop an email to mukesh.20 at the learn Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.